Hey there, welcome back to my video channel. Today I'll be drawing a tombstone for Halloween. We're gonna put a zombie hand coming out of this as well. So this is gonna be really spooky and scary, but if you wanna have fun drawing this with me, grab yourself a sheet of paper, pencil, some markers, some pens, and let's begin. Let's start by drawing a line up from the bottom left, and we're gonna kinda come up towards the top left of our page. Then what I'll do is I'm gonna draw this little line like that. And we're gonna draw a very fine line across like this. And then on this side, we'll pick it back up like that. And then we'll follow this line the same angle and we'll come down like that. Now at the top, where I stopped here and stopped there, we're gonna draw this curve. So we're gonna come up and down. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a line, and this is like a perspective line. So we're gonna draw the thickness of our tombstone. And we're gonna go out in the left direction. And what we wanna do is we wanna draw another line in that same direction and then another line over here in the same direction and then as you find the top of your tombstone curve here we'll do another line also in that same direction then once we have the thickness we like we'll follow this line and draw a parallel line like that and then we're going to come up and curve the top of the tombstone like that and that's just going to come into here and then this one here will just run right into the edge of the tombstone that little raised piece okay so now if you want to round some of these corners you can do that and then i'm going to come and just bring this down like that now I'm gonna put RIP in the middle. So I'll draw two lines that are following this angle here. So I'm gonna draw one right here, and I'm gonna draw another one like this, and that's gonna be the, the height of our letters. Now I'm gonna draw the I in the middle so that I can have the R on the left and the P on the right side, and that it'll be spaced out nice and evenly. So if I draw a line splitting you know, from the side here and this side here, we'll get the middle. Then what I can do is I can draw a thickness for the letter I, and then we can do these like blocked letters. So I'll do some shapes up there, and I'll extend the I like this. So that'll be the I. And then for the R, we can draw a line like this and this will come down. And we don't want to hit the eyes. That's why I'm kind of working backwards. I'm gonna go backwards. I just have a, enough space here. So that's the R like this. And then this will just come down. And then we'll do this like that. And then extend this line up and we'll find the middle of the R. And then for the P, we could start over here. And the P will almost be the same as the R, the top part of that R. So you can kind of come out and we can find the thickness at the base here, like that. And then just draw that P. Okay, so we have RIP. <laughs> Then I'll go and add some little like rocky kind of circular shapes here. And I don't want them to be perfect circles. I want them to be a little, kind of a little jaggedy because this is a stone and it has some like stony shapes. And then if you want, we can add some like little lines here, like veins of the, of the stone kind of marbleized kind of thing. So just draw like a few lines and 
something like that. And these can just be kind of like random shapes. And then if you want to have any cracks in the stone, so maybe this is like a really old stone, you can go and just like put some like cracks in it, these little breaks, and we'll go and erase these later on. But say you want to have like a little crack in here and this crack like comes through like this. So there'll be a crack there and then you can actually do almost like a spider web shape so that that crack looks like it's coming through the stone and that's kind of like cracking through there. So we could do that in a few spots. I'm just gonna you know, cut another shape in here like that and then this will have like a crack. And I'll probably just chip the side here. Maybe I'll just have a small one over there. Okay, so now we have a few cracks in our tombstone. What we can do next is draw the zombie hand kind of reaching out of this part in the grave here. So before we get the zombie hand in, let's draw some lines right here. So we kind of have like a mound of dirt. And we'll come forward and then we'll just kind of have this wavy shape. And then this will just come down like that. And then you'll have some like lines going through. So this is just like some dirt, it's a fresh grave. And do something like that. And then we'll go back up and we'll draw the zombie hand. So what I'm gonna do is on this side here, I'm gonna create this line coming up like that. And we're gonna have another line that's coming down like this. And then over here, we'll just have some dirt. Looks like it's coming out of the ground. And don't worry about this stuff that we have drawn here. We'll erase that in a little bit. But what I'll do is we're gonna draw the thumb shape. So we'll just hook this down and we'll round this up and we'll draw the thumb and we'll just kind of come up like that. And we'll do the thumb nail like this. And if you wanna have little cracks in it, you can do that. And then over here, I'm gonna put a finger and we'll draw one finger like this. And then we'll have another finger coming up over here. And then we'll do one more over like this. And then we could put our nails in here as well. Draw those crackly nails. Now I'm gonna go and actually move this line up a little bit this like crack in there we'll kind of move that up a bit okay so I think we have our fingers in place then we can just add these little creases for where they bend like that we could draw a couple like little knuckle shapes have a few creases there and then if you want we could put some like hairy hairy shapes coming off of his his arm. All right, and then our arm's like moving. It's like rah, coming out of the grave. So let's put some little like accent lines, some motion lines that makes this look like the arms and the hands are like, are moving. And we'll put some like dirt that just kind of came off like that. All right, we'll just put a few more little dirt shapes like this. Okay, next grab yourself an ink pen and go ahead and outline your tombstone. And remember, don't go through the lines where the cracks are. You wanna maybe draw the cracks in first and then you won't uh, forget about going through those.
Once you're finished with your outlines, take an eraser and erase the pencil lines. If yours didn't turn out like this, it's okay. Head on down to the description, click that link that I left there for you, and you can download the free coloring page. And then just have a lot of fun coloring this in with me like I'm doing right now. Well, are you guys scared? This looks amazing. I hope yours turned out just as cool as mine did. Why not click that like button if you like this video and subscribe to my channel. I do videos every weekday and you don't wanna miss any one of them. Until the next one, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.